What's up, everybody? Another episode of the Do Say Friday podcast with yours truly, Tommy Puzo, Rel Carter, and the infamous Hassan Johnson as our guest from Staten Island. What up, what up, y'all? Oh, was that Thanks intro for having the bro- <laughs> <laughs> Sound like a Knicks game, right? Yeah, that yeah, did, right. that did. <laughs> Sound like the fucking... Uh, the man in the middle, <laughs> Hassan Johnson. That's right. What's up, y'all? What's, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Yeah, life is good, you know? Thanks for having the bro. You know, you know. So we got to get right into it now, Rel. Um... We got Mr. Johnson here, and uh, we were talking about piggybacking off the R. Kelly episode from last week, which right. kind of went viral. We're, we're getting right into it. Stay Hassan, up, we don't, there's no it. intros let's here. Right. What's, what's your opinion on this whole thing right now? I'm funny. I'm the funny guy that back now that, like, you know, was doing it too. <laughs> so I was, no, listen, good thing these weren't invented when it happened. My daughter, right, when that happened in 03, the tape came out in 2003, my daughter was about five. Your daughter's name is Autumn, right? Autumn, right. So I do my research. Yeah, right? that's my man right there. You good, you yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, yo, what's up? This comeback, like, what we gonna do? Like, what's happening? Once I saw the tape and he urinated, that was it for me. <laughs> I didn't wanna, if, if Instagram it was invented, was out there, I would have had to go to therapy. Like, you know how cats have losing it? Right. I would have been losing it on some anti R. Kelly shit. That's right. how I feel about it. Damn, man. So it ain't real. I can't put no more credence in and stock into it than I did when it happened. I can't drive myself crazy all over again. I, all I got to say is, well, fortunately, I mean, it would have never happened in a million years, but my daughter grown now, so I dodged that bullet for what it's right. worth. Because. Now, my, my boy J.D. Williams, shout out to J.D. Williams, played Bodie on Y. He tweeted out the other day a very good point about that. He said now, because I said it when I was watching this special, forget the testimonies of the females that's there and the ones that they witnessed that they can speak for. Surviving R. Kelly, right, you're talking about. R. Yeah, Kelly. right, right, right. Let's talk about the ones that they didn't see, that they don't know, and the ones we don't know. Right. So there's parents or couples that's missing... Their children, there's, ch- there's missing children that very well may be. It's a, his, yeah, it's a, it's right, a, it's yeah. a super problem because we the the whole situation in Chicago. Now they said for like 18 years, there was a million and one cases of people that never got, it just never got prosecuted. On the last show we talked about, like now it's not it was, a crime, were right, Ralph? Were they all him? Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, he had a million cases. Yeah, they had, but not a million. Well, but oh, you know, oh, I, I, no, no, but there, there was nigga ain't get locked there was, up yet. There's there literally that's think, crazy. Let me look at the. I think there's there was like 75. Oh, you got or, notes on how yeah, many yeah, people? Yeah, 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 yeah. There's like 75. Nigga, that's all gambling. No, it's that's not. Just no, say NFL. Don't baby a degenerate like that. Just. Two paragraphs. Yeah, there's like 75, 80 cases That's that they ridiculous. had. They didn't too prosecute many. in Chicago. Right. But so one is who, who knows the rest of the, of the world where he, you know, he was on tour. But That's my point. So, so we, on this podcast, we speak the truth, Hassan. So yes, that we came out and we talked about the, the whole Dame Dash thing. And you were in that meme. <laughs> you know, that meme has, has made you, before you were right. famous, but that meme has like put you like in a different perspective now. That like, means yeah, everywhere. Yeah, that, yeah that's, it's so, catapulted some notoriety. My, my man Jay Obama... Um, on Instagram, tag me on that. This dude that he does memes. That's your friend, so, Jay yeah, Obama. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so he tagged me. He's like, I didn't make this Puzo, but, but I want, I want the credibility and the, you know, the the fame for this. So we were dying laughing. Now, what are the odds that I already had? And you're my witness. No I already doubt. had him Absolutely. booked, trying to get him on the show for like right. a month. And then you're in the meme, Absolutely. you know, with Bleak and everything. So, and I know Dame wasn't wasn't happy with the whole situation. That's why but. Bleak not here. He too Hollywood. He got little. Yeah, he's. This he's, is the first time he went viral in like 20 he's, years. He's so H, man. he like yo. He think Miss Bleak's, Bleak's back. Bleak suntanning right now in Miami somewhere. First of all, that's all good. Word on the street is Bleak lied to us last week. <laughs> Whoa, what's up with that? Explain, right, talking bro. about friends, right? So remember when Bleak said he not working on new music? Oh, I knew, I knew about this, and I'm gonna. I'm oh, gonna, so you knew about this? Yeah, so you, yeah, yeah. So you I'm, I'm gonna. I'm, bullshit. No, 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 no. I just, I'm, I don't leak anything. You're my, well, you're my shit, friend, right? Exactly. You're an actor. You read that. a script to me, I won't leak it. That right. shit been you leaked. Play me some lyrics. I got the whole Carter. First team of all, in the I was in, right now. I was in she, Orlando. She, she, Shout out to the Carter team right here. I was just in Orlando, and somebody that knows Bleak really well. I don't leak. Was music. like, yo, I listened to the podcast, and Bleak said he's not working on real music. He is actually, and he he lied. He is. He is. And I heard his fire. Yeah, he got he got some joints. He he uh he has he has an arsenal of stuff that he put away. But the the thing is, can we get him out of retirement? 
Brian. been trying so for got, a while. What he recording for? Thing Brian, our old host, and then Rel been trying to get him out of retirement. So I think I think bleak nervous. He nervous. He need to go bald. I I think I think we could do it for the right price. I think we do it for the right price. But the the last episode went viral. He got the label. We don't need the price. You know, bleak man. I'm not gonna get into that, but I think uh, I think the the whole Dame Dash thing was interesting because I think we're the first podcast to to really I think kind of call them out, and yeah, and I think I, mean, I think we should because for me I'm not I'm not really too involved with the industry, but I can say this: somebody that makes you rich, right? Right. How you hate on them? And I don't even think it's about how, being how are you a snake? Like I want that to be known. That's my voice on the whole thing. Is like you somebody makes you rich. Even if you have a disagreement, well, there's going to be disagreements along. It's because he's you, not you all rich know you're in music. anymore. That's what it is. Uh-huh. That's not our problem, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, like anybody that makes you rich, you should just he be quiet and be thankful, rich. man. That's what it is. But it I don't even get think get it's about. Everybody got a story. Right. Right. And I don't even yeah. think it's about being the that's first that's podcast to talk about it. <laughs> I think it's just because it's bleak. Who was there, who lived through it. That's why the shit. Really to go up. 100% you know, right. He's you're, close it's to true, the situation. It's true. It's true. You're right. He was in the video with him, so he knows that he's lying. It's a good assessment. It, it's, it's true. I mean, I, just, no. just, just for me, like being an outsider, like a fan, I, I could relate to it because I'm like, you know, I, nobody yeah, ever made me us. nobody ever made me rich. I just thought about that. Right. Nobody, look. Right? And if they did, I'd be thankful. <laughs> so they going to diss us on growing up hip hop. That's fine, bro. Rich. <laughs> That's what changed. He's going to go on wilding out next. That's fine. That's fine. Shit. So we'll jump into to you, Hassan, too, now. Like, um, obviously, I don't know, like, what are you working on right now as far as? Well, you know, first of all, shout out to Actor Gang. That's the movement. I hashtag Actor, actor gang. gang. Yeah, that's My man over there want to be an actor, so right, put we, him on Actor Gang. Yeah, actor Gang, we welcome everybody, brother. Just, as, actor Gang ain't limited to acting. It's just whatever you eat, sleep, breathe. You know what I mean? And, and that's, you know, and you want to, you trying to just be the best you could be and, you know, take it to the top. That's what Active Game represents. So we actually got a page on uh, Instagram. And it was started by my dude, Jackie Long, first of all. My fellow Active Game. Yeah, Jackie Long. He played Esquire, you know, he did uh, Real Husband, all that fly. Yeah, all right. Yeah, ATL, yeah. He was just in Nipsey's video. That's right. That's your two, yeah. With Lauren and them. Fucking, so. what are you, Wikipedia? Damn, the, 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 <laughs> that's the, 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 on the side, too. <laughs> Damn. So first of all, it was a movement started by him, and he was just like, "Hi, you gotta start hashtagging this shit and all your posts, bro. I don't care what it is. We act the game, let people know what it is, get going." So about the third, fourth time he beat me upside the head with that, I activated, and it's been going. And you know, we've been I see you've been using that on your Instagram exactly. for, for a so minute. We got the page, the website, and it's all inspirational. You know what I'm saying? It's just you know all about you know believing in yourself. Just wanting to take your, you and your people around you to the top, you know, right. the, the cliche stuff, but really mean it. You know what I mean? Not just for cliche sake. People nah, it's, it's, that, that's dope. That's dope. You know what I mean? Could, we be, want you to really feel it. Because, yeah, when, when Rel's whole team came in, too, like, you're, you're like a legend to us. Like, you were in Belly. You were in so, like oh, it's, 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 me. it's, it's not just what? it's not it's not <laughs> like, just well, talk about me, Puzo. <laughs> no, no, your whole team came in and they recognized like like a lot of the nah, stuff yeah, I didn't even know. realize that you were in. Like like it's not just the wire. Everyone associates you as WeeBay right. on the wire, mm-hmm. but but to me it's like yeah, Belly was was how I associate you. Exactly right, you know. But I mean, obviously you that, ain't that, watch no that, damn that, Belly. What? Clock Steady, are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> What's going down? He said, I don't watch Belly. Steady, are you ready? That's supposed to be like a prerequisite. And then, and then, and then, then, that's, that's the, that's his first, just Spike Lee's clockers was your, that was in 95, right? That's what they called me in the hood at Park Hill from Staten Island where I'm from. We're going to get into that too, actually. We got to get into that. So, so you're from Staten Island, right? Mm -hmm. Killer Hill. Killer Hill, 10304. What you know about that, bro? You don't know nothing about that. You I be do. on Wikipedia I like do. a motherfucker. I do. I do. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to tell you You're something. Right. I'm going to tell you something. He's going to back me up. We did a party in Staten Island. Who's we? When you say we. Bleak and I. All oh, right. He I had us at his spot. Right so Bleak was there. You was not. Was I there? Puzo was there first. I call myself Tommy from oh, yeah. Power Puzo, for a reason. When they pulled up, Puzo hopped out first. Yeah, yeah see? so Because so you got to send a 
security in first. <laughs> you always send the white boy first. He's always see, safe. See, Rel knows. Rel, 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 Rel knows on the tour that, that like the Puzo, you got to drive. So in case we get pulled oh, over, right. yeah, yeah, we, we, we always talk. We always talk about that. Yeah, we did. We did an ill party in Staten Island. Gotta have a guy. My dude Blicky Blaze, you know, shout out my Philly dude, South Philly. We did a. You we did a, You gotta have a guy. We did oh, I, thought Blick, I thought Blicky Blaze was your guy. He can't have a name like that. He got to have like Thomas Blaze, Puzo, like shit like, like that. that. They let that, oh, no, they let that slide. Blaze, no. Why are you laughing over there? there? That's his name. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks. Yeah, Thomas real, real, real white. Real, 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 <laughs> like real, 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 real corporate and white, like Thomas James Puzo. Yeah. Yeah, it sounded like my mom or something yelling at me. Yeah. That's what it sounded like a lawyer. Oh, here we go. Here we go. He is a lawyer. That's funny. Yo, so I, I think a good thing that, that you can you can fill us in here, Hassan, is like fill us in on your time growing up around Wu Tang. And, nah, that and, shit uh, was incredible. And I think man. the crowd wants to hear that. Yeah. Nah, growing up in Staten Island is different because you know we had the race wars in school, so you know we went to school predominantly white. For me, it was poor Richmond. I think Math Ray and them all went to New York. That's the super, super Guido. You know, Staten Island, anybody, you know, from Toad Hill and Great Hills. And, it's know, real it segregated was, there, yeah, right? Yeah, it was. You know what I mean? So, you know, you, you stayed with your cliques and shit like that. But so just watching it from that. But then, you know, cats that's cool. People were cool with each other. It was some people, some shit was off limits. You know what I mean? Like if you just didn't know somebody it was one thing. But we all grew up together. It was, you know, black and white. And Staten Island was, was a little bit more uh, forced. It was a little bit more forced than it than, than anything else. Like we just had no choice being in Staten Island, coming from Staten Island. So, just in Park Hill alone, you know, being the closest to the Verrazano Bridge, right? It's like a lot of shit just take place over there because it's like one way in, one way out. We not really like housing, but it's a project. And then Stapleton right down right the street, right there, right? Yeah, that's where Ghost is from. So you got Deck, Meth, Ray. You know, Rizza and Vine and them kind of Stapleton Park killers, but that's where that half of the woo was from. Then you had, you know, Master Killer and Dirty from Brooklyn. Right. And it then Ghost from Stapleton. You know what I mean? Like that. So There was like there was like 5,000 members of the Wu-Tang. Like 5,000 yeah, yeah. in one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For real. So, you know. That but it's cool. You're a part of history. Like, people associate you. Obviously, you're an actor, obviously. But watching that come up. You're a part of history. We're talking about yeah, it earlier. I mean, I can't send my blood. I can't shake it if I wanted to, you know. I got those demo tapes, like those early record records of the Wu. Wow. And they were called the Flowers. A lot of people don't so even before, remember that. So before Wu-Tang, they were called. I bet you, yeah, Von or Rizzo listened to this one. I remember y'all had the Suzuki Samurais with the, with the name on the side panel and with the chrome called the Flowers. And then wow. I was doing the little the little video tapes in Coney Island on the weekend. And my cousins and my brothers all hanging out. So it was like being a kid, that was amazing because we all we saw was Big Daddy Kane, you know, uh, the Kooji raps on uh, video music box coming up. Right? That was it. So video Staten music Island, box. Yeah, nobody would thought <laughs> Staten Island wouldn't have thought to be in the, even the, in the race with that. And then RZA had that deal with Tommy Boy back then. Jizza had to deal with Cold Chilling. And put out the words from the genius, and then uh, I forgot the the album. But we, the single on Tommy Boy with RZA was "We Love You, Rakim." Right, he right. Was Prince Rakim before the RZA. Right. And then you know from there, shit just kept bubbling. Then the Wu got on. He had you know put them niggas in the huddle. Ray. So out, out of out of all like, them, out, and I know you can't really play favorites because you came up with them. But you know, out, 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 the out of all them, yeah, who's the nicest, bro? See, we was just talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> so we gonna, we, At least we, I gave we, you the question start, in advance. We, we start with Ray. And we trickled down, but then see, you got deck though. Deck, we left deck out the conversation earlier. That flow, deck. Inspect guy, the deck on the yeah, set. Yeah, his flow is impeccable. <laughs> but, the, but the nicest. You know about that, Rel? Ray. <laughs> the heavy metal. Meth. <laughs> all around meth, maybe. You know, but Ray I probably. Fuck with meth. Probably Ray and Ghost, my fave. I probably listen to more Ray and Ghost cuts than collectively, than, you know, all together. Yeah, Ray and Ghost probably got the best. Duo. I know that's a tough question, but I, yeah, I, I got to ask. That's like, you know, I got to ask. That's about, some the, tough about the ac most accurate I can get. <laughs> Word. That's what's up. So, so um, I want, also I wanted to ask you too, like, as far as all those guys in the Wu Tang right now, right now, right now. it's got to be meth, right? Yeah, definitely meth. Yeah. Be because obviously his acting career, mm -hmm. and then we were talking. Solid. I don't know how you even can deal with being a Hollywood actor because. 
it's well, just the well, politics well, behind well, it. What I'm saying, people, so. is you can't never tell me that. You you can't. I, I know about not having my way. I'm, I get told no for a living. That's the business. I'm in the business of rejection. It's hard, yeah. That's first. So to be able to get up, be motivated, and being told no nine times out of ten, you got to be built a little different. So that's why we talking about like cats like Ohio. So I don't know how you be doing. I'd be like, eh, I don't know either. But I think it's cool. <laughs> I think it, I think it's cool that we we talked about on the phone before you came to the podcast that how how that some insignificant like a meme. Right. Can open the door for right. you for, for with right. all the stuff you've done as an actor. Like that Belly and The Wire yeah, and Brooklyn's look, Finest. What they say though, uh, bro, you only as good as your last cut. You only right. as good as... So if, the, if a meme is the most popular shit going on right, right. now, that, that ain't my fault. <laughs> You're blessed. You're yeah, blessed. Yeah, I'm going to take it. Who am I to block my blessing? Right. So when I'm at the mall, like I was telling my G, right... That's where the kids roll up on me most. It's like, ain't you the boy? That's right, sure. It keeps you fresh. That's me. Keep me right. Go watch all my old shit now. Yeah, now what? Now that's what I say. <laughs> now go watch all my old shit. Right. Now. Go see where it came from. Yeah. So you got the right attitude, because I think a lot of people would be like, I'm not. I don't want to be. I'm fuck that meme. Yeah, fuck you that. You know, meme. and it's I'm like than you, you, I've been doing this since. It's doing it. We're doing it. It's take your blessings and run with it. Doing it well. Take your blessing, man, because when you start putting up that resistance, that's where you blocking your blessings. At. Right, right, right. Right there, that's when shit about to go. I think that's that, I think that's that's important for up and coming actors and people it in the is. music game to, yep. to to take that and run with it. I mean, and we in the age of social media shit, right? So if that's what it take a meme from an image of something iconic to to rotate for it to resonate with people, like oh, but then that's homie from because how much time you how many times you see a film with like a Mahershala Ali, perfect example. Right, right, right. I forgot what the hell I was watching. See, I just caught a blank, and I said, oh, that's the homie. He been doing it. He ain't just come out of nowhere. Right. To, to the way it's presented to us, you feel like, oh, but this is a culmination of hard work, dedication, rejection. Mahershala was being told no, but now he the man. So, so you like this, that. You started in 95, right? Yes, sir. How many times you heard the word no? Oh, shit. I, I can't even count that. Because now you go to my resume, right? You can see how many times I was told, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, in my resume. that's important. So now, right. That's just times that by however many I've been told no. You feel me? I crashed Get Rich or Die Trying audition at the show at the Chateau Mamont. Wow. In fucking uh, Hollywood. Ran up there, my man gave me the word. Yo, highs, look. They doing, you ain't get the call on that. Everybody was trying to get it, get rich or die trying. I was like, I wasn't too cute neither. I was like, fuck it, let me. Let me get up in there too. So my man, yo, what up, Malik? Malik Bernhardt. Malik, the one that showed Young Fifty the gun and the thing. He gave me the drop. Yo, they over here, sweet blase. Go over there at this time. I said, say no more. Went over there, pulled up, walked in. Got all the way in there with A.B. Kaufman, right? A.B. She, you know, like real old school Hollywood cast and direct, top notch official, right? Some people probably never get to read for her in their life. That's a blessing type shit. So I get up there. Okay, uh, Mr. Johnson, how is your name, Mr. Johnson? Yeah. So okay, Mr. Johnson, you're here for uh, you're reading for uh, well, we can't find you in here, Mr. Johnson. I was like, oh yeah, my agent didn't call y'all. Yeah, I had to. Had to <laughs> my agent. I was, you my forced agent your way in the door, man. Nah, but then I got to get out of here. Uh, nah, it wasn't no finesse and that. She was like, oh no, have him call us back. Thanks for coming by anyway. I tried. Right. So, get an A for effort, man. So yeah, get. Richard Dodd trying, right? <laughs> right. You can't say, you you can't say I he tried. Wow, so, man. Did that go? So shit like that. But that just humbles you. That's the type of shit like, yo, you know, I gave it my, you know, it just wasn't meant to happen. It's just what I'm going to do. No, yeah, and it's it's cool to me because I think consistency in, in your business is hard to come by. You've been doing this since, since 95, man. Since that's, 95. I got so, it. Yeah. That's what I said. I had to look at my resume, too. Like, okay, oh, I haven't missed a year. Like, I'm on production since 1985, and, and yeah, to date. So, and I, I gotta, dope. I gotta, I gotta air this out. So well, you get the dry spells now. So, right? so Rel just dropped the album. Yeah, man, no handouts and no handouts, and and just so you know, Hassan's been in mad videos. So the next videos you shoot, you gotta put a sign to shoot the video, one. man. Yeah, I gotta pull up. We yeah. got a couple videos Ain't about, about to shoot. that gonna change. Yeah, he did it. You did a Jada Kiss video, right? A couple yeah, other joints. I did uh what I did for Jada. Times up with Nate Dog. Dope. That was a, so it was Ralph, a, it's a throwback. 
Breezy you got to pull up too. You Breezy fucking talk about him chick. pulling up. You better pull up. <laughs> nobody, nobody we wanna always need a white boy in the video. Nobody want to see my dumb ass in the video, bro. <laughs> nah, nah, and, it's going to be a club party. You could be the bouncer. Unless you're doing video. a skit like as the, the, the lawyer or some shit or the, or, or, or the cop that pulls you over. <laughs> That I'm good for that. Yeah, like, yeah, I could be the cop that pulls you over. Gave me an idea. I could pull over you Breezy or White Boy Frazier. Yeah, and be like, yeah, they always get like, pulled over by the cops. License and registration, Breezy. Yeah, they Yo, always get pulled over by the cops. Li- license and registration. Yeah, this guy fucking see, look, hit a cop. More, so y'all see, look, y'all different. Yeah, y'all used to different shit too. <laughs> y'all, y'all, uh, you know. Yeah, that, that's, it's dope. We got Baltimore in the building, and then we got WeeBay from The right. Wire. Right, what's the coinc- coincidence, you. right? There's a lot of coincidences this week. The stars are aligning, I think, for... Love, for, is, love is love. Right. And, and my man's an actor, to... you know, so, you know. He oh, just wow. did his first yeah. film Oh, yeah? Year. Congrats, man. That's what's up. Last year. Oh, so you actor gang already. You ain't even... Hashtag you actor gang. Hashtag actor gang now. That's what's up. You got the, you got the green light, bro. <laughs> that's it. That's right. Let's get it. Let's get it. 2019, man. We here for the win. Right. I mean, shit. Who would have thought, right? I, I know I didn't think about this far. Yo, you was everything. A little bit of everything. Brooklyn's finest. Yeah, Bro- yeah Bro- Brooklyn's finest. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. With Wesley Snipe. Yeah, that's one of my favorites. That shit was crazy. That movie dope. In 2D. Clockers. In too deep, Brooklyn's finest, top five. But, but these is culture joints, though. Like, we not even talking about Right, like right, right. Fillers. Like, play, play. Right, right. Like, Fillers. Like, 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 the real, like, our and then And then ER, 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 too. Yeah. ER, too, right? Say it again. ER, too, you were in, right? Oh, yeah. Shout yeah. out to Makai. Yep. On the last two seasons, I think. Yeah, I played the home. So, I thought you said ER too, like it was a no, part two. No, but you no, no. Like a TV show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was yeah, in that yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dope. So I, nice I, for the for the, the upcoming generation, what do you think about Netflix? What's your, what's your stance on Netflix? Netflix is a good thing, right? If you're trying to work because it's there. See, this is what I've been telling people for the last few years in the business. You want to act? You can act. It's work out there. I don't care if it's for fifty cents a minute, a day, fifty dollars. Whatever you can own, you can hone your skill, sharpen your blade. This, this, this work out there. Now with a Netflix, the only thing is you gotta build your brand up to where it makes sense to do Netflix jobs because there's no residuals involved. Right. You know they, they they haven't figured it out yet with SAG how to really. It's, so it's, it's so going on right as we speak. So but it's it's in to, discussion of how right, to how to work that streaming. Out. You're trying to figure out how to get this kickback from the from the from the stream. From the stream Man, ain't no residual. For your likeness. It's not like with the music shit. So right, like we were talking about Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. I got the name of the project, but Netflix gave him thirty million dollars for a flick. He ain't tripping. Right. Because he got flat. thirty million. He got. 30 he like fuck them residuals, he nigga. Fuck them resi- he wasn't yeah. getting thirty million on nothing. No time. Exactly. Not in the box office. Not at all. Day. I don't know who's giving Ryan Reynolds. Deadpool, cool, but I don't know who's giving him 30 M's to just, you know what I mean, flex his shit. All right, so that's where a Netflix. So, yeah, so Rel, Netflix not for, because we call him Residual Rel. That's one of his other. <laughs> right, he right. got a lot of oh, hashtags. Like he got nah, pro- I take pro- that shit, though. Proclamation I Rel. I just gave him a new one. I gave him a new one. Right. Oh, residual yeah, Rel. Right. Residual Rel. Yeah, you just made that up. I'm a, yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, it was revenue. But he's got like, he just gave me another one. Oh, oh, that's what it was. My bad. It was revenue. I take residual, though. But now I fuck with residual, too. I think, I think. That's money in your sleep. Exactly. Yeah, I'm a, you know. Take all money. It's money in your sleep. That's one I'm, thing I'm, I'm about. I give I'm about to post that. <laughs> I get money. I'm about to post. I got to check in the mail every day. Put I'm that about in, to post that shit right now. Put it in I your like notes. This. I like to see the mail, man. I got to check it. There's some bills too, he, but it's he, some checks. Yeah, dude, he he gives me a hard time, friendly. but I, I'm I'm a P, I'm a PR guru, man. Mm-hmm. A PR we need guru. You. We need yeah, you. yeah. Who's up? Yeah, Rel just allowed me to like come into this whole podcast thing. So residual, residual. Nah, Rel. He, nah, he he crashed this bitch. Re- I, did, I did, I did, I did. Nah, he literally like I, oh, I no, did. no bullshit. I did. Like I did, actually. <laughs> Brian left and then Puzo just yeah. pulled up with Bleak one day. Like what's going on in here? Bleak like yo, Puzo gonna be on the podcast. I'm like, cool, that's cool. He about to do an episode. It, it, it wasn't too long ago that did the one episode. That nigga stayed forever. <laughs> I'm like, a, I'm like, squatter. A, I'm like, I'm, squatter I'm like, a, right. I'm like, a, I'm like a, can't, can't even, can't evict right. Puzo. I'm like, I'm like a hungry dog, man. Yeah. Ralph fed me once. I ain't never gone home, that's man. Right. 
That's how it goes, man. That's how it goes, man. But you know, we keep it interesting on the podcast now, no man. I got, you know, residual rel, bro. I like I that shit. Like matter of fact, shout out the pool. I'm going to do it later. Ma- no, matter of fact, on your, I'm going to get you a jacket, the can't relate jacket that I yeah, have. Yeah, I need on. one. This shit's we're gonna, hard. We're going to put, we got yeah, this shit. tough right Thank there, right? It's a chip on my shoulder. It is on your shoulder. Yeah, yeah, we're going to put residual rel on the This is where he's killing it. Because it's that real, like, it's that real, like, Wrangler slash Cavarici. Yeah. Because he a farmer. I'm Italian, bro. Hold on. I know he... Z Cavarici and You remember Z Cavarici? All right. It's that Cavarici. Well, you don't know about that. That was a real Guido. Cavarici was that real Guido Italian. I'm about that real nigga shit, like Ava Rex. Cavarici was like... Never say that. Like, I can't that, believe what, you know that. Cook, what, like, Cavariches was like ball mains back in. Yes, yes. Back in, back in the late so the 80s. Yeah. It was, it was, uh, it was, was, was like 200. It was, uh, first of all, Z Cavariches. First of all, first of all, I had a couple pairs like of those. I like in 91, 89, 90, 91. Shit was 200, fresh out of Macy's. You, you go to we Macy's. Was, we was, how old was you? This the young. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. So look, look, we the OG, yeah, 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 yeah. so I guess me, we the OG. Me, me, yo. Oh, 92. Hassan and I are, are 41. Yeah, hanging out with the youngins. 41. <laughs> we some baby. old. Nah, nigga, we, you was five in 91. Fuck out of here, Breeze. <laughs> <laughs> they don't call us OGs. They call us old Gs. Old Gs. Yeah, yeah the, 77, the, the LD, bro. Well, no, oh, yeah, 77? Yeah, we were both born in 77. Yeah. We were both 41. Last hey, look at the difference. Mohican. Yeah, black. He looked like 23. Black don't crack. You like you 65. Black don't crack. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm fucking white, bro. I love it. How you gonna say? Uh, yeah, you love yo, it because you're complimenting you. Yeah, Ralph said you looking like Michael Jordan. Nah, I'm I, only talking I, I, shit, right? Or retirement. Nah. Yeah, I, yo, yo, yeah. I'm only talking I look shit. Like, I look like La- right? You look like Jordan. I look like nah, Larry Bird. I'm only talking like Larry Bird. Yo, P, man. You nah, you look good, young. Bro. Like, not you look good, bro. You look like good, bro. Thanks, Ralph. I appreciate that. <laughs> Scumbag. Nah, we was in the chat yesterday, right? And Bleak, and Bleak was telling us he couldn't make it. Right. So this nigga like, yeah, we gonna hold you down. I'm like, nah, Puzo. You only come on when we here. <laughs> right. He Let said, if you, don't, yo, he like, if you don't get your mute ass out of here, I'm like, oh, he want me to talk more, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Let's get, it. I Let's do. get to it. I do. Cold right. word. I do I'm going to talk shit. I do because when we, every time Rel and I link up, it makes for, for an we interesting podcast. But it was at the first, when Rel first interviewed me with Bleak, it was Bleak and I were at war. Okay. Now it's Mel and I go to okay. war. Bleak don't come around enough, so somebody had to take us. Yeah, spot. yeah. Nah, but, Bleak but, figured it out. Like, let me just fall back a little but, bit. But, but, but <laughs> today I text him. I had listened to the album. It's dope. And uh, who was that that sent you the text message? That's my boy A Samuels from Atlantic City. Dope. He got a he got a um. He said he like like four records. He's like seventy one he years old. Four out of what? Four right? out of two. No, uh, he probably white. But it was four out of twelve. Wait, 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 wait. But it was whoa, like, whoa, but it was rewind. Like, but I can rewind. see it now. <laughs> rewind, rewind. He's no, probably I white. He like, like I only music. hang out with white people. Like I'm part of the Ku Klux Klan or some shit, bro. Also black the fuck does that mean, shit, bro? Right? Like, no, like I don't like, have black I friends, tell, bro. Based on this, he like rap music. Yo, you heard that? So he's probably white. He said. Like, that was the disclaimer. Like, like, said, like, oh, like, I only like I'm racist. I was like, like I only hang out with white people. No, but I get it. No, but the dude, he like real rap. That's what it is. Because he picked ROTC. Culture for me and talking. He like lyrics. Okay, okay. Actually, 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 like the, nine, five. the dude that that texted him back on that. Shout out Alan Samuels. He has his own video. He is white, but he's like sixty something years old. That's him. He's got a video oh, he called. called like he's got rap. a video called "Living the Life." It's got over a million hits. Wow. He's down with Shaq, like a bunch of. He's a casino oh, so host. Actually, shout out Alan Samuels. So Shaq a, probably DJ there, huh? He's a casino host in Atlantic City. He knows every A-list celebrity well, I haven't been to Atlantic City so long. So, I gotta go back, yo. So, so, when I tell you we used to go there every AC, fucking weekend. Is he lit now? Yeah, yeah. Because it's, it's back It's back lit. City. Because sports gambling's legal now. That's right. Yeah. But you know, Sam, oh, but no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Sports Atlantic gambling's City, legal now. You call, y'all close to Atlantic City, too. That's a hop for y'all. So, too. yeah, so. It's so, as quick as it is for us. Right. So let me explain to you. Let me explain to you. I used to be in that bitch every weekend. Hurricane Sandy had fucked up AC. That's right, y'all do. Nah, it ain't like AC though. But but, but, but you but, but Yo, you gotta make an AC trip. Fuck it. But what you don't like, have? Fuck it. Damn, what's that one? What shit? you gonna come my from cousin. Albany, nigga? That's gonna take you ten hours. Fuck you talking about? No, with uh. What's it called? 
Horseshoe, right? And my cousin be going over there. Oh, that nigga, he's a bartender at Horseshoe. Oh, which which you don't was drunk. He jumped behind the bar. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. They was asking niggas, yo, what y'all want? <laughs> Listen, that sounds like some shit I did before. Just comment did a bar. Just, what y'all want, man? What, what, Mar- what, Maryland, what Maryland doesn't have is sports gambling. They don't. They don't have. It's not legal yet. It will be probably soon. But you know what gonna do New Jersey's one of the first states. New Jersey's one of the first states to oh, legalize season, sports gambling. That was the shit. That is the shit. It so it, it helped AC a lot. Man, I'm going back to AC. Fuck it. No, AC I'm tired of going all the, these other uh, places. I'm going back got to the, AC. The Hard Rock just know, opened up. And they Wild got the P. Ocean Club. Yeah. P. yeah. P. I, got, I got a beach house down there, man. Oh, we lit. Oh, no. Hell no. You fucked oh, up no. that one. Hold up. Hold up. Now Rel want to right, be my bro. friend, Hold right? Up. You know you're not fucked up. Now Rel. Right? Now Rel. Well, gotta hit him. <laughs> gotta hit him with that minute since the Now, now, now. Nah. You know you don't fucked up, right? You know you don't fucked up, right? Now. My nigga got a beach house. You don't fucked up, right? <laughs> Yo, tell black niggas you got a beach house. <laughs> what? <laughs> you got a beach house, man. Right. You don't Yo. tell black niggas you got a beach house, nigga. We pulling up. But but, but up. And, hit him with that bill, dude. But hold on, but but before before all that, I don't hang out with black people though. Uh, now I got a I beach didn't say house you had to be there. and a pool. Uh, you can Airbnb uh, uh, that shit. Leave the key in the lock pad, nigga. Right. Tell me the code. Now, now that now that y'all want to now that y'all want to open the now that Hassan no, and y'all want to open the floodgates. Let me ask you a question. Can you swim? Cause you're black. I'm definitely a swim. I'm from Coney Island though. Can you swim? Cause you're black. Pop, no, you bitch. I can See, swim. cause I know Bleak can't swim. Oh, Bleak can't swim. I Bleak can can't swim. 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 I can definitely swim. That's we, cool. I ain't no, going no, on the no, beach, nigga. I'm going in the house. You got me one. <laughs> <laughs> Two God damn. syllables, right, nigga? Hey, this this house. right. This podcast is so <laughs> officially beach. raw and uncut that Straight up. I, did not say beach. I, I just got so comfortable with the drinking do say that I can ask these questions now. now can you right? swim? I never thought I'd look Weebay in the eye and say, "Can you swim?" <laughs> Because I might not make it and down the elevator he, alive. He say, yeah. The Barksdale organization would have me cut the fuck up before I left the building. Straight and, up. And then the car. We'd have left you at La Casa. Then, then, In real time. Look, when you merge, when you merge the Barksdale and the Carter organization, it's a fucking problem. Yeah, that's a, that's Especially a when you're white. <laughs> you ain't leaving the fucking building, You're actually building, pink right dog. now. <laughs> Here we Not, go. Oh, he but said it. He said it. I told, but I drink to say I turned. Re, you know what it is? Rel fucking Last episode, me up, bro. he drank a whole bottle by himself. Nah, you can. Literally. You Thanks, can. Rel. Thanks, it's Rel. It's all good. You can. Oh, you, sure put, oh, you put the nice glasses sure out today. Ginger ale. These, yes. Yeah. No, he don't do that. He don't do that. He just drink the douce. I got I got these douce glasses from uh from B. Axelrod. Yep. <laughs> Hold on a second. I'm what? <laughs> How it hold on a but second. It's like it's cool though. It's cool racism. It's like cool racism. It ain't like yeah. nobody gonna be offended. Nobody, nobody gonna be offended. I, I, I just I, wait, hold on a second. First of all, nobody asked your opinion. <laughs> Secondly, <laughs> second you only did that because he's black. You black. Cause you black, nobody asked your opinion. Black. Secondly, secondly, we ain't racist here. Title's not putting this shit up. No, listen. <laughs> fuck out of here. Listen. Oh, I, I'm, on that note, will, man. Yeah. On that note, man. Yo, it's, cool it's, it's 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 been a this is, this, is, be like, this this episode is called. Cool, Johnson, huh? Yo, we about to go viral again. Oh, this like, episode. Oh, we may say cool. racism is cool. That, oh, that's that bullshit. That's that bullshit. This this episode we're gonna we're gonna All end right. it with this, y'all. This episode is racism from the wire. <laughs> Racism from the wild. Hey. So everybody just love happiness and peace, man. Do say podcast. We out. You gotta love it. Yep. Start your weekend off with the Do Say Mafia. Say Friday.